Hi, I'm Brandon Berman and this is B-Man Tutorials. I'm going to show you a real quick tutorial on how to upload a PDF to Google Drive. So here we go. Here I am and I'm at google.com and at this point uh, you have to have a Gmail account. So if you don't have a Gmail account you're going to have to sign up and then come back and join us here. So I have one so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. And then I have several accounts here. Uh, but here's the one that I'm going to use. All right, and now I am signed in. So now if I come up to this area that has these little boxes, this is my apps, I can come into here and I can go to Drive. And here I am at my Google Drive with all of my documents. I want to upload, so I'm going to hit this button right here and I'll choose a file and I'm going to go ahead and grab it off the desktop and select this technology partnership newsletter this is a nonprofit I'm a part of and this is the newsletter here so I go ahead and hit open as you can see here we have some choices the first line just mentions that you can change your preferences for uploading files and here this first checkbox will convert the document to work with Google Docs in the Google Docs format. This next checkbox will actually convert the PDF by taking images and making them into image files and any text it can find and create that as text. Um, sometimes this gets a little ugly. It does a better job of converting Word documents. And if you uncheck both of them, it's just going to bring the PDF in up as a PDF. I like just this checking this first checkbox and I'll go ahead and click Start Upload. And then it says that it's uploaded here and you can see that it's been added to the top of my list on my drive. So from this point I can always access it from any computer by logging in just the way we just saw. And if I click on this, it opens it up so that I can view it. And I could also download it or print it but I can go here and share. So if I click on the share, then I can choose to send anybody this link. Right now it's private, but if I click on this change, I can say that anyone with the link, and that way I can send the link and that's the only way it'll be found. Otherwise public on the web could be found through search engines. So if I just left it, anyone on the link can view or edit or comment. So I could, if I wanted to send this out just for comments, I could do that. And then comments are on the side over here. But that's for another lesson. We'll just go ahead and leave it as can view. And I'll hit save. And then if I copy by hitting Control C or Command C on a Mac, I can copy this URL and send it to anybody and then they can see the same document. So that concludes this tutorial. Have a great day.